two, Penn State Nittany Lions. All right, teams to your sidelines, please. Send one captain towards the middle. All right, I'd like to congratulate both teams on excellent seasons and making it to the national championship game. I ask that coaches, please maintain your sidelines. Have no arrows shooting onto the field or on the sidelines. Um, I ask that there is minimal spam. No annoying the refs for missed calls or other calls. All right. Penn so, State. So no crowd. Yes. P Penn State, you are the lower team. What is your call? Heads or tails? I didn't have time to make a coin. I'm sorry. We choose heads. Penn State chooses heads. I will be doing it in hashtag general. I don't know the commands. It might take me a second. It is tails. Florida, you have won the toss. Kick. No. Uh, Florida would like to kick. Penn State, which way would you like to receive? We'll take, we'll take it here. All right, teams, please take your sides. Also, if I find out that someone slash messaged hike, it's technically not illegal, but I will disown you, like, completely. Just please don't do it. That's so facts. Oh, Gooey just said don't? Okay, my I apologize. No, 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 someone was shooting the bow. Someone was shooting oh, okay. The bow. I just told them. The bow. Alright, if you message someone slash hike, I will ha I, I will shadow roam you. No, that's it. I'll shadow roam you. If you don't know what the shadow roam is, no, well, it. you're I'll about to find out. Also, every time you score a touchdown in the north end zone with the people in the crowd, you must jump into it. Hey, time to figure out the timer. Yeah, teams, you could go back to your VCs now. Referees, go to that chat. Gooey, uh, I, don't, I don't have another ref, so you're helping me. Well, uh, I'm assuming we're live, so it's glad to be with everyone today on the VFL Network. Today, we're here at the National Championship between the Florida Gators and the Penn State and Penn State. I'm Zach Gorge. I'm the only caster, uh, which is very fun. But uh, it's going to be a great one here. So sit back, relax, and enjoy as we wait for kickoff in four minutes. So instead, uh, so instead uh, we'll do some predictions. So... On with the Florida Gators, you got the most uh, high-powered offense in the game. You got you got Zolo, you got Catahuler, and of course you got the best QB in the VCA so far, Butter Dog. All of them pretty good. Zolo actually already making it to the Super Bowl. Long story there, but it's happening. And on the other edge, we got. But on the other side of the ball, we have Jerry Quis, Live Love, and Chove. Great. Great players, VFL Talent 2, Jerry Quis, and Chove, both in the Super Bowl, along with the Zolo. So it's definitely going to be interesting to see what happens here. But anyways, what is going to be the key for this game is how strong the Gators' defense will be. As we saw in the last m matchup between the two, if the Gators are able to stop the Penn State offense for any sort of time, then it's pretty much a done deal on who's going to win the game. But anything can happen. Anyone can win. For the As with Penn State, all they need to do is keep on scoring. If they can keep on scoring, they can win a shootout. So that's their goal. But anyways, only time will tell who will be the victor. So sit back, relax, and make sure to watch the whole game out. 
as it seems like in the center of the field there will be some sort of a picture shoot between the two teams. Um, it looks like it's going to be some, yeah, it's just a normal photo shoot, you know. Nothing special, looks like. But anyways, we're just waiting for kickoff here. And once kickoff gets going, it'll be a good one. So until then, uh, not really much to talk about, huh? Well, anyways, coming up in the near future, we got the Super Bowl between the Seahawks and Chiefs. Great, great, great matchup you got going there. Yeah, I, I think that's definitely going to be a great, a great one. So, uh, was it? Make sure to watch, watch that one this Sunday. 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. It's going to be a great one. You're going to see Chove, Jay Requees, and Zola all on one team against a bunch of league veterans. So it's definitely going to be an interesting game to see which side is going to win. The veterans or a majority rookie team. Anyways, it's definitely going to be a good game there. So I would not want to miss it. But anyways, as time ticks... It looks like we're getting ready. It looks like we're ready for kickoff here in Allegiant Field on the VCA server. It's go time, boys. Teams are taking the field, and we're going to be waiting for a great game here. Anyways, for the kick, it looks like you'll have Zolo. For the Gators receiving, you'll have Jerry Crease, Live Love, and Chove. Looks like Zolo's getting ready for the good to kick. 30 seconds until kickoff. Zolo getting ready. Punching up to the cameraman and all the fans here. It's a great turnout to see all these fans. Over 36 fans in a... Over 36 players online, nine watching the stream. It's going to be a great game here tonight. I can't wait to see what happens. This game's just already giving suspense. As we are good to go. The good to kick has been given, I think. Uh, yes, good to get given and it's kicked around the, uh, we'll call it the 16-yard line. First and 10 for Chove and the Penn State Nitty Lions. Chove has Mike to his right, Jay Requees to his left on their center. He's about maybe six yard back in his stance. Chove getting ready to hike the ball, waiting. Mike rotates over to the left, and Jerry Quise will take to the right. Chove on her center, waiting, looking at Zolo in coverage. Chove hikes the ball. He's looking to his right side, looking to his left, and he finds Mike the very best on the first play. Mike the very best has some open field. Can you take it the distance? He has nothing but net. There's no one behind him to stop him either. And that's going to be a first play touchdown for Mike the very best. And what a play exposing the, the defensive rookie of the year top virtual bot. And that's a huge score for the Gators to start off the game. Touchdown Gators. Chove getting right for the kick. He's looking out to his right. He has Mike open if he's going to try to do a hot hit. Jerry Quees out to his left, covered well. Chove's going to hunt it, and he gets Zola to jump off sides. He's going to try and lob to himself, but I think it's going to be called pre-snap anyways. If not, Chove gets to run it in for the score. Yep, it will be considered pre-snap. I'm assuming that's the call in the field. Cannot confirm, though, at the current moment. No call on the field as we wait. Penn State 8, Florida Gators 0, it counts. Penn State and the New Lions take the lead on the, on the first little second. First play, one completion. Chove to Mike for the score. Chove now getting ready to kick. Good to kick given. 
as Chove. Mm -hmm. And that's a nice pin by Chove down to the, call it the four yard line. First down and 10. Waiting for the clock to be fixed. Anyways, first down and 10. Penn State giving the good, or Florida giving the good to go. Butterboss hits Zola right away. Zola's hit once, but he has some space and looks like it might go back to the house. Actually hit twice, hit three times, and he's brought down by Jay Requise on the play. First down and 10 on the Nitty Lines 33-yard line. First down marker placed at the 23. Butterboss out in, in center, under center. He has his old out to his left top versus bot out to his right. And they're in a pretty much set formation, both out a little bit wide, but not too wide here. He hikes the ball. Butterboss is looking to his right as both receivers go over, and he's just going to lob it up to get rid of the ball. Incomplete on the play, second down and 10 for the Florida Gators. Zolo is out to his left as Butterbox hikes the ball. He's looking up. He has his man Zolo. He stiffs our live love and what a score on the play. Touchdown for the Gators, and they shoot right back at them. Touchdown Gators on the play. Eight to six. Butterboss getting ready to kick it. And actually, they're going to call for a two point play to try to tie it up right away. And Butterboss getting ready for the kick here. Or not the kick, getting ready to go for the two point conversion. He has top virtual bot all the way up to his right. Zolo's middle. Middle left, I would say. Actually, kind of close left, you could consider. So, Butterboss, under setter. He's looking out to his left right now. And he's going up for Zolo, but he throws it right over his head. Incomplete on the play. The try is no good. And now, Penn State is up in the lead, 8-6. to six. So, now, if you're Penn State after the first two drives, you got to be happy with that. That's such a great, great play for Penn State. They're in the lead, and they have everything going their way. So now we got Zolo going back for the kick. As we're waiting a second to see. And it looks like everything's fine. As good to kick is given, Zola's going to shoot it. He's going to try and pin it back, but it goes for a touchback instead. First and 10 for the Nitty Lions on their own 20. They're going to keep the same wide receivers as they had for the first drive. Jay Requeese and Mike the very best. Zolo. Oh, Jay Requeese here. The top virtual bot, the defensive rookie of the year, out to the right on Mike the very best. Camel Grinch playing DT. Chove hikes the ball. He's looking out to his left. Can't find Mike, so he's going to scramble out to his right. He's going to try and run it himself, but he can't get anything. Second down in 10 for the Nitty Lions. Not a great start, but it's not horrible either. It's a You're pretty comfortable if you're them right now. So Chove getting right to hike. He has Mike the very best lined up all the way out to his left as he hikes the ball. He's looking to his left, and he's got hit Mike. Mike's wide open, no one near him. That's going to be another score. Two completions, two touchdowns. Great way to start off the game if you're the Penn State Nitty Lions. Chove will get ready for the kick here as he has Jared Quist kind of wide open, but I don't think they're going to fuck it up this time. Mike, the very best, middle left, Jared Quist out to his right. They're not going to let, and the Gators aren't going to let them get any sort of easy one on them. Chove gets right to kick it. He huts twice. He's going to hut it a third time, trying to get Zola to get off. Ten seconds given. Chove is going to kick it, and he strikes it through the uprights, even though he had a rush of strain in his face. Still gets it straight through. 
15 to 6 Nitty Lions. Great way to start off this championship. Penn State 15, Gator 6, quarter 1. Four minutes, about four minutes remaining in the quarter. Chove all the way out to the left, kicking it. He's going to try and pin it. And that was a flop. Kick to the 30 yard line. Not a great, great one to see at all. So instead, now we got a first down and 10 for the Gators at the 30 yard line. Zola out mid right, Catahoula out far right. Or Zola's out mid left, my bad. Good to go is given. Butterboss hikes it right away. He's looking. He's going to try and hit Zola out right, but he can't find anything and it goes incomplete on the play. And a flag on the play for early crossing by Live Love. I think that's a pretty good call there. He did cross a little early. So now, first and five for the Gators. I don't know why they aren't trying to go for a deep ball here. If I was them, I would take this as a chance to go deep. But instead, it looks like they're just going to try and pick up the easy first. But he gets stuffed. He's going to be brought down behind the line. And that's going to be a loss of four on the play. So now you got a second down and nine right back. Pretty much where they started after that failed run attempt. Both of Butter Ross's receivers out to the right. Kehler's going to motion off far left. Zola is going to stay in medium right as Brother Ross hikes the ball. He's looking out to his right. Can't find Zola, but he's going to try to lob it up, but overthrows him just a little bit. One thing that is definitely that Brother Ross definitely needs to work on is his ability to lob up the ball. He just can't really lob it up that well, and he misses a lot of open throws because of that. But anyways, Butterboss under second, under center. He has Catahoula out far left, Zolo out to the right, and he, he hikes the ball. Catahoula didn't move, but it doesn't matter. He hits Zolo. Zolo hit once, twice. Can he take it the distance? There's no one to help out Jay Requees on a boost, and that's going to be another touchdown for the Gators. Florida Gators take it in for the score. And now we got Zolo back to kick it. After a little bit of lag here, Zo but Zolo kicks it up and it's good. Gators still down 15 to 12. Not where you want it to be, but it could definitely be a lot worse now. Penn State is trying to say that it was an illegal substitution as they are challenging the kick. So when they challenge the kick, uh, just a reminder, this Sunday, oh, good to kick is given. Don't know why everyone's still over to the left, but they are. But anyways... They're getting ready to kick it here. Gonna try and send it straight through the uprights and well. Or not straight through the uprights, but deep in. I don't know what I'm saying anymore. As the Gators kick it horribly, horribly to the 34 yard line. First and 10 for the Nitty Lions at their own 34 yard line. Chove under center, Jay Requeese out to his right. Mike the very best out far to his left. Chove getting ready. Good to go given. He's going to try and figure out something here to get his offense back and running. Chove is looking. He's going to try and throw it. He's going to be pressured and he's going to fail at the scramble. So it's incomplete. There are two minutes and 10 seconds on the clock. In the first quarter, Chove under center once again. He has Jay Quees close to his right and Mike far out to or medium out to his left. They're pretty dangerous receivers so far, scoring both of Penn State's touchdowns. As Chove is getting ready, Mike motions in close left. 
Chove under center. He's getting ready to hike it. He hikes the ball. He's going to look out to his right. He's moving out to his left. Chove's going to have to scramble. Hit once, hit twice, and can't get the scramble off. Third down and 10. It's looking desperate for this Nig Lions drive. Their receivers can't get open. Chove can't scramble it. And it's not looking good for the Nig Lions. Third down and 10. Chove under center. He has both of his receivers. Uh, actually, Mike is close left when Jayquees is out far right. Zilla can't knock him out or else that would be a pen penalty. Chove is going to try and take it himself. Hit once, hit twice, hit three times. And he got the first, and he's got a little extra down at the 48-yard line. A gain of 16 on the play. First down and 10 for Chove in the knee lines. Flag is thrown on the play. Sideline warning, Florida Gators is the flag. Doesn't really affect anything here. But anyways, Chove getting right to hike it. First down and 10 at the 48. Mike the very best out to his left. Jerry Quiz out to his right. Chove hikes the ball. He has Mike on a quick drag. He, he hits Mike on the play. Mike's hit once, hit twice, hit three times. Gain of 14 on the play. First down and 10. Or gain of 13 on the play. First down. Wait. Gain of 12 on the play going back each time. First down and 10 for the Nitty Lions. At the Gators 40 yard line, you got Jay Ruiz out middle right, and you got Mike the very best out middle left. Both of them aren't too far out as Jay Ruiz starts creeping farther out, but he still stays there. Chove is under center, he hikes the ball, he's looking, and Chove hits Mike on the play. Mike's wide open, and that's another blown coverage by top virtual bot. Mike's in for a third touchdown in the game, touchdown Penn State. With just over 30 seconds left in the first quarter, that's a huge touchdown for the Nitty Lions. As Chove gets ready to kick it straight through the uprights. He's going to fake it once. Fake it twice. He's going to hike it and set it straight through the uprights. As the touchdown animation continues. So I cannot update the score. But anyways, the Nitty Lions game right to kick it back to the Gators. 22 to 13. And the Nitty Lions kick it. And that will be pinned at the one yard line. Not what Florida wants to see here. First down and 10 for the Gators at the one yard line. Not looking that good. Camel Grinch out. Kale Grinch and Zola out to the right. Zola moves to the left. Burbos under center. He's going to need to make something happen here pretty fast or else he will probably get sacked out of the end zone. Burbos hikes it under center. He's looking. He can't find anything. He's being blitzed and he's just going to throw it away. That ball's far in that and in deep. Incomplete on the play. Second down in 10. For the Gators, pinned at their own one-yard line. This is looking very bad. 30 seconds left in the first quarter. Butterboss under center. He hikes the ball. He's looking for something fast. He's going to try and throw it out in the middle, but can't find his connection with Zolo. 17 seconds and taking down in the first quarter. Third down and 10. Florida Gators need to find something. Butterboss, he's looking and he's waiting. And they're going to take it out, and that is the end of the first quarter. So the end of the first quarter. And we got the score of 22 to 13 here. As something is happening. And something very interesting is happening. As we wait, and the end of the first quarter has come. But it seems like there's some confusion by the sidelines as the play will be under review. So, uh, yeah, very interesting. 
I'm going to quickly go get some raviolis because I'm kind of hungry and didn't just got made. So we'll be right back after the review. And well, it looks like nothing has been called so far. So it's not like I really missed anything, thank God. So, uh, we're just gonna wait for the, uh... Oh, we're waiting. Waiting for whatever to happen. Third and ten, good to go, given. Gators need something here pinned to their own one yard line. Good to go, Gavin. Barbas hikes the ball. He's looking deep. He's looking for Campbell Grinch. He hits Campbell Grinch. He's got the first down and more. He's wide open. And I think he's going to take it to the house here. There's no one to boost Jay Ruquiz once again. And that's in for the score. Touchdown, Gators, on the play. Gators getting ready to kick. And that's a 99 yard for the Gators. Zolo being the kicker here. Getting ready. Zolo, he's getting ready for the kick, waiting, he huts it once. to to hide it a few more times, he hikes the ball, and it's straight through the uprights. What a great kick there by Zolo, aka Zo 100. 22 to 20 Gators, and what a great play after being possibly pinned down to their one and having to punch it. Good to kick is given. As we wait for the kick, Zolo game ready to kick it. He's going to kick it, and that's going to be a touchback on the play. Flag is thrown for full power on the kick. So now Chove, first and 10 under center. And he's getting ready. Good to go, Gibbon. Jay Quise out far to his right, Mike out middle to his left. He hikes the ball. He's looking. He has Mike the very best open on the cutback. He's not going to throw it, though. He's going to try and lob it up to Jay Requise, who's wide open, but it's incomplete. What a big play, possibly by Penn State, but they just can't complete it. So instead of that long scoring play, it's going to be second down and 10. Chove under center, has Jay Ruquise middle right, 
Mike the very best out far left. Chove hikes the ball. He's looking. He's staring down Jay Quees, but he hits Mike the very best instead. Mike's hit once. He's hit twice. He has some distance in, in between him, and he's going to score it. Touchdown, Nitty Lions. Well, another great play there by the Nitty Lions. Scoring a deep touchdown. Good to kick given. They're getting ready to kick it. Chove looking down. He's looking at Jay Quees, looking at Mike. He's getting ready. He huts it the first time. He's waiting. He hikes it, and it goes straight through the uprights. Not even a chance to miss it. 29 to 20. And this game is just going everything you want for Penn State. They took the early lead. They have a two-point advantage here. And, well, this lead just keeps on growing for the knee lines. So, anyways, good to kick given as he gets thrown all the way to the back of the end zone. That's going to be a touchback here. Great show up for today. We got over, well... We have around 50 players here in, in attendance playing and watching the stream. We can't thank you all enough for tuning into the VFL. Anyways, Butter Boss on your center. First down and 10 for the Florida Gators. So, Butter Boss on our center. He's getting right. He hikes the ball. He's looking. Looks after his right. Can't find anything. He's being pressured. He's going to try and scroll. Bud's picked off by Chove. What a pick! What a huge pick there by Chove and the Nay Lines with the pick six. God damn. What a big play there by the Nay Lines. I think Emerald goes AFK for a second. Score. I as we wait for them to send through the uprights. Any second now. As it looks like there might be a ref review here after the huge score by Penn State. Pick six by Chove on the play. There we go, Noah. Thank you. Good to kick, Gavin. Hikes it. He's got hit. Jay Requees. And Jay Requees brings it in. Now, this game, 37 to 20, is just getting far away from the Gators here. So now, Cho's getting ready to kick it. They're up by. By 17 right now, and it's not looking good for the Gators here. Show of getting ready to kick it. No, it's 37. As the kick gets pinned to the 10. Nova, the score is 37 to 20. As it's first down and 10 for Florida State. Butterboss looking. I'm at Florida Gators, but it's fine. As it falls incomplete on the play. Second down 10 for the Gators and Butter Boss. Butter Boss getting ready. As a flag is thrown for false start on the play. So now first down and 15. 
for the Gators. All right, replay of second down, actually. Second down and 15. Butterboss under center. He's going to right to hike it. He hikes the ball. He's looking out to his left. He has Zolo open. Zolo's hit once. Toe taps. He's got some distance in between him and Jay Reese, but can't bring it to the house. Hit twice, hit three times. He cannot bring it to the house. They'll mark him at 30. So first down and 10 for the Gators. Barbas hikes it. He's looking, and he just can't find Zolo on the play. Second down and 10. Top virtual ball out far to his right. Zolo's in close to his left. Barbas hikes it. He's looking. He Ba isn't moving in Zolo. Just gets double teamed, incomplete on the play. Flag on the field for false hike, five yard penalty. So now second down, fifteen or what? Third down and fifteen. For Bobos and the Gators, they need to score here, or else this game might become out of reach. Bobos hikes it. He's looking. He tries to hit virtual bot, but it's just incomplete on the play. Fourth down and well. They're going to take what they can. It's going to be a, a 40 yard, a 39 yard attempt for the Gators here. So, Gators getting ready to send it through. Good to kick given. Zolo takes the kick and straight through the center. What a great kick there by Zolo. 37 to 23. Nitty lines on top. Bears, stay tuned for halftime as there's a puppet show, supposedly, according to a source. So that'll be fun to watch. Watch a drunk man run pu a puppet show at halftime. Anyways, it's first down and 10 for the Nitty Lions pinned to their own four yard line. Both of the receivers out to his right. Mike moves back to the left. Cho getting ready to hike it. Hikes the ball. He's looking. He's going to try and look for Jay Requeese there, but it just falls incomplete. Second down and 10 for the Nitty Lions. So Cho back on the center. He's got kind of pinned. He's nine blocks back. He's got to hike the ball. He could be rushed now. But instead, Cho's going to take it himself. He's stiff arms, top virtual ball hit once, twice, three times. He's got the first down. They're going to mark him down at the 18-yard line. First down, first down and 10 for the knee lines at the 18-yard line. Chove under center. He has Jerry Quise and Mike both out to the middles on their respected side. Minute uh, left on the clock. Whistle blown and two minute warning given. Right now we got a pretty close game. And well, it's going to be very interesting to see who can take you at the end of the second quarter. About to game ready for halftime right now, you could say. Chove hikes the ball. He's looking. He has no one open. He's going to try and lob it. And Mike just slightly stops too soon. And now you got yourself a second down and 10 for the Nitty Lions at their own 18-yard line. Chove gets under center. He has Mike out pretty close right. Jay Requeese out middle left. Chove hikes the ball. He's looking. 
He has mic open. Can't seem to make that connection from the pressure, but he takes it himself, hit once, hit twice, hit three times, and or they're going to call it three all the way at the 46-yard line. Uh, nope, never mind. They do mark it correctly. That's three all the way back at the 39-yard line. Clock ticking. One minute remaining. Chove under center. As Jeroquiz out, far left. Mike out, middle right. They're getting ready here. Chove under center. Still no hike. Hikes. Nope. Hikes the ball. He's going to try and take himself, but the arrow doesn't connect with him on the scramble. So now you got second down 10. A little bit over a minute remaining. But there's a flag on the field for false start. So now it's going to be a five-yard pickup, first down, and five for the Nitty Lions. Chove back on our center, though. Oh. Oh, something's happening. Nova. False start, so... So it's actually going backwards. All right. Oh, Chove on her center has Mike DeVere vest out far to his right. Jerry Quees out middle to his left. He's making play happen here. Chove needs something here. He's going to try and lob it up to Jerry Quees. He's wide open, but throws it too short. Another flag on the play. No good to go given. Another five-yard penalty. So now it's a first down and 20 for Penn State. And Nova is being stupid. Yeah. They're calling a replay second down. First. So, yep, Penn State getting ready to hike it. Second down, 15. Chove getting ready to hike it. Hikes the ball. He's looking. He has no one open. 50 seconds remaining on the clock. Chove is looking to make something happen. He hits Mike the very best. Mike has some space, but can't take it. He's hit once, hit twice. He has some open space. He's hit three times down at the... 12 yard line. First down and 10 in the red zone for the knee lines. Can they throw up another quick one here to just continue their lead? Chove hikes the ball. He's looking to his left. He can't find anyone. He's going to try and take it himself. He takes it himself. Hit once. Hit twice. He's in for the score. Touchdown, Nitty Lion on the play. Chove now getting ready to kick it. Good to kick called. Hikes the ball. It's going to go up and it's through the uprights. 44 to 23. A 21 point lead here by the Nitty Lions. Going to half. And if the Gators can't respond here fast, I don't know what's going to happen. Chove getting ready to kick it. Good to kick given. Chove getting ready. He's going to kick it. And he's going to pin them under their 20. Marks it down at the 17 yard line. First down and 10 for the new lines. I mean, for the Gators. First down and 10 for the Gators. Butterboss and their center. Campbell Grinch and Zolo, his receivers on the play. Butterboss getting ready to hike it. He hikes the ball. He's looking. He can't find anything. He throws it straight to Chove. Interception. And that is definitely not what you want to do in short time. First and 10 for the New Lions. Down on the 8. There's a flag on the play. 
It's going to be late hits, defense number 81. And now it's a five-yard pickup for the New York Lions. First down and goal at the Gators three-yard line. Chove getting ready. He hikes the ball, and he's going to give it to Jay Reeks, who runs it straight in. No, they'll mark him down at the one. Jerry Quee's looking to run it in, but it's not good. Uh, you can't really challenge it. Don't know what Alex is doing here. But he's trying to get something to happen. Second and goal. Good to go at the one-yard line. Trove game right. He's going to go for something quick here, I would have to assume. He has Jerry Requees. Chove huts it, trying to fake the scramble. I think he's going to scramble it here, as he does, but he can't connect it. Almost picked off by Zolo. So now, all of a sudden, you got a third down and one at the goal line. Five seconds on the clock. He hikes in. He hits Live Love. Touchdown, Nitty Lion. So that's a great score by the Nate Lions. And now they're up by 28 on the play. Don't know what the Lady Lions are doing. Not even kicking it for the point after. Looking kind of silly out here. But they are up 52 to 23. Couldn't make it a 20 point game if they kick it. Or you could make it a 21 depending on this. Hikes it. It's up and good. And it seems like the Gators are just breaking at every corner today. Not a good day for them. Very short time on the clock as Penn State gets ready to kick it. Three on the clock. Good to kick given. Cho is going to try and hit one of them, but it just falls for a touchback. 53 to 23 is the score. First down and 10 for the Gators at their own 20. Butterboss, worst game so far this year. Two two interceptions, not looking the best. Butterboss getting ready in formation. Getting ready to hike the ball. Butterboss waiting for the good to go. About one second left on the clock, maybe two, so this will be a Hail Mary or nothing. As the Penn State um, safeties are the little step in a two safety format, you could consider. Barbos hikes the ball. You got Camel Grinch as a blocker as you wait for Zola to go deep. He's getting a pretty good block on Live Love as Camel Grinch throws it way too early, and that is going to be going to halftime. That's halftime here, folks. The score is 20, 53 to 23 at half. 20 point lead. And now you got a very interesting situation here. So now, now we got a live halftime performance. But I think possibly. As we wait to see what happens, as it'll take a second to see if this halftime performance is actually going to happen or not. If not, we'll just run the VFL ad. But, uh, we're waiting currently for the Jake. Well, uh, Jake, Jake, Jake is in here. What's up? Jake is in here, but I have his number. I can save the day. Hold on. Alright, call him. Call him. Call This was paid for. Yeah, that's a seven bucks right here, bro. Seven bucks. Cash. Is it worth it? Million dollar question. If he doesn't pick up, it's rigged. 
That's like an that's like an hour of working at McDonald's. <laughs> Not in New York State. That's half an hour. That's why you live in New York. Oh, why'd you hit me, you moron? Okay, I'm gonna hit you again. He didn't pick up. He didn't fucking pick up. I'm calling him uh, back. seven dollars. That's fucking half time. He's, he's been on the server. Oh, it's half time. Bye. <laughs> Alright, he's coming. Alright, uh, yeah, we got the show. <laughs> oh, the puppet show. Come on, Ash. Come on. The screen server, share, boy. Screen share. It's not a puppet show. What the fuck? What? Wait, the puppet <laughs> show? <laughs> I was okay. told it's a puppet show. Well, what's the fucking show then? <laughs> Do I echo? Yeah. No, not really. No. Talk again. Talk again, Ashcon. Let's get the show going. God. All right, shut up. Mute. Screen no. share, boy. It's, are you doing a puppet show? No, fuck no. We're not. It's not a puppet show. All right. What the fuck is this? This is not seven bucks. Uh, do, you want, do you want them to see your face? No, standard comedy. Yeah, do you want them to see your face? Why don't you see my face? I don't know. It's your choice. Show your face. Okay, you paid seven fucking dollars. You better see the face. Okay, I'm server muting everybody. I don't give a fuck. I'm myself out of oh, you're drinking? Alright, hurry up. What are you making yourself? Hey, you better get this going, Jack. I paid seven big ones. Why didn't but John do Bro, he's taking a shot. Alan, just take a shot. I'll take one with you if you want. Alright, alright. Alright, let's do it. Alright, hold up. I'm gonna be right like 30 seconds. Quick, 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 they're waiting. We're doing fucking did you where's the Thomas? Oh here it is. The Thomas I already have James in my cup. Sure. Is this a new cup? No, this one is James. No, this one. Yo, this shit is ass. I would've asked for one dollar and done a better performance than this. Three, two, one, two. I could have just played my saxophone and it'd be better. God. Oh, no. Damn. Not. Are there? All right, they're waiting. Hurry up. Oh. You want your video on or off? I'll be a flip. Oh, they want you on. I'll let you be on. Gentlemen. How are we all doing tonight? How are they all muted? We're all fucking muted. Oh, all muted. Go. oh my god, it's a chink. Fuck off. I heard there are people of color in this group too, and I can start dropping stuff as well. Say the N word, you won't. Please don't Nigger. say the N word or any slur. I already said it. I'm getting paid seven bucks. I'm, it's, a, it's anything goes. No, do not say this word. All right, boys. How many people are in college? Like three. So how old is everyone in here then? Like five. Or Twelve. I'm pretty sure there's a seven-year-old. Six. Year old I'm six. Start your fucking, fucking show. Fucking lord. Just go. It's a five-minute halftime, and you took three minutes taking a fucking shot. All right, boys. So when you eventually get to college, you're all gonna start drinking. Now let me give you some advice about drinking. When you're fucking getting shit-faced in the dorms, what you don't want to do is get caught. Because that complicates things very much. And now let me tell you about getting complicated, alright? So, my freshman year, it's the first day of spring semester. We're all getting back and we're all having a good time. It's literally the first day back. And so we get shit-faced on that night back. And our friend goes a little too far. And, you know, like a normal person, if you get shit-faced, you fucking puke in the trash can that's right next to you but no this man decides that he's actually not going to puke in the trash can he's actually going to kick over the trash can and go outside in the hallway then fucking vomit all over Did the you floor. just make fun of how fat ashcon is ashcon uh, what do you know what looks like a fucking land lodge seal it starts with an a and ends with ashcon shut the fuck up goddamn blue whale all right, all right, all right. I've, uh, I have some requests for some Ashcon stories. I need your yeah, best shoot. Ashcon stories. Shoot. You gonna have Ashcon stories? Yeah. 
Oh, I, wow, go man. for it. What story do you want to tell? Is it the one? Has so there's has one she ever gone there. with a bitch that was butt fucking ugly? Which one? What? Oh, was it the one where? She, did he tell you about how he fucking That's... lost his virginity by raping a minor? No, tell <laughs> us, please, please, explain, explain, go explain, please. <laughs> All right, so this man, it's it's Thanksgiving. And he's like, I'm really horny and I want to lose my virginity. So he goes up to this girl and tells him that's our friend's girlfriend at that time. And she sets him up with this chick. Unbeknownst to him, the chick is actually 17 years old. (laughs) And he fucking (laughs) dogged her. And at the end, we're like, did you fucking put on, did you even put on a condom? And he said he didn't know how to put on a condom. Not that one! Was- <laughs> uh, so, you know how when you put on a condom, you, on, you stretch it out first before you put it on. But you said all the, like, not the good parts of the story. What, the good part was you fucking raped a minor? That wasn't the- <laughs> <laughs> There's no good part of that story. Hey, hey, there's still a few more minutes. There's still a few more no, minutes. it's over. Or what about the other time? No, we got two more minutes. We got two more minutes. Yeah, two more minutes. All right, then explain the actual story. Stop. Ashcon, flash oh. your tits. Oh wait, we have that actually. He did it on my ring. What did I do? Where you flashed your nips? Oh my fuck. Oh, this was also another one. We're walking downtown, <laughs> and then we've been calling him a fat beanbag all night. <laughs> those asked he asked this Mexican restaurant worker if he looks like a beanbag, and the dude just starts laughing at him. <laughs> so awkward. <laughs> Are you done? Sorry, it's so we awkward. Going, we got right? another minute. We got another. <laughs> still another minute. Still another minute. How much yeah. more? What else is there, Ashcon? I'm not gonna tell you. <laughs> I don't fuck what I want you to say, story. No. Oh, hmm. oh yeah. Did you, yeah. Did you see Ashcon's eggs like that he made like yesterday or two days ago? I have a video of that shit. That's it looked like burned rubber. <laughs> When he was cooking it at first, it looked like there was water in the pan because of how much oil <laughs> Water. <laughs> Alright, this is not even a stand-up comedy. This is, is a fucking pretty, shitting on Ashcon halftime show. It's a pretty good halftime show. I'm fine with it. That was John, if I were you, I would take your money back, my guy. Okay, fuck this, right? I no, know. I think knowing that Jake raped the miner. It's funny. over. Yeah, now we actually know that Jake raped the miner. Yeah, no, like, that's it's just no, a it's joke. It's no, true. No, I did it. It's a fact. No, we can't deny the facts. Ain't, ain't false now. Can he? Can he come back for the uh, Super Bowl halftime? No, he's with gone. More stories. Oh, that's right, awkward. Stay. Go back to the call. Anyone know what the score is? Help! <laughs> Help! Uh, nope. I know that they're up 20. Eight. Well, that's a halftime show and a half. Uh, that would probably get demonetized on uh, YouTube. But luckily, we have like uh, 13 people watching. So hopefully, or 10, 10, 10, 10. But anyways, that was a whole seven dollars to just uh hear that ass rape 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 to minor. Um, definitely worth it in my books. What a great story to hear. So uh, anyways, I guess we're just waiting for halftime to end. And waiting for kickoff. So the score is fifty three to twenty three. 20 point lead, good to kick given. As the knee lines plan to kick it and they pin it right around the uh, 14 yard line. First down and 10 for the knee lines. Top virtual bot. Looked like he was playing QB for a second, but he's not. So we got Butter Boss under center. Man, man, Butter Boss. He's looking. He has. The power run formation made popular by Noah here. Once he gets ready to run it. Uh he hikes the ball. He's looking. He has to throw out. Uh he, he just completely breaks Jay Requeese's ankles. Hit three times and he's down at the forty four yard line. First down and ten for the Gators. Great way to start off your first quarter here. 
So anyways, first down and 10, back into the power run formation for the Gators. As they get ready, they hike the ball. Barbas is going to take himself, hit once, hit twice, hit three times, and he only gains about one yard on the play. Second down in nine for the Gators. Um, pretty interesting formation to start off for the Gators. Penn about to get clapped. Gators number one. We really need to restrict uh, broadcasting with the Lamar. Anyways, Barbas under center. You guys all out to the right. Top virtual, but under center. Barbas getting ready to hike it. He hikes the ball. He's looking. He's going to look, and he's going to hit virtual bot right away. He, virtual bot's hit once. He's hit twice, and he's hit three times. Down at the 60-yard line. So that's a first down and goal for the Gators. Barbas is going to try and take it himself. Hit once, hit twice, and he's in for the score. Touchdown, Gators. Great play by the Gators. And now they'll go for the one point. Interesting, but interesting move there. But you got to do what you got to do to score. Running, if it's going to win, it's going to win. Zola tries to fake a hut. He's going to hut three more times. He's going to hike it. And it's going to send it straight through the uprights. 53 to 30 is the score. Zolo is going to right to kick it. Zolo kicks it all the way down. And that's going to be a touchback on the play. First down and 10. For the um, Gators, they're going to call it a full power or out bounds. Actually, they're calling it out bounds, so it's going to be first down ten at the forty. And three minutes left in the second. As he hits Mike, the very best chove. He has a wide open man, Mike. He's going to take it some distance. He's at the 10, and he's in for the score. Touchdown, Penn State. Strikes right back. And what great play there by Penn State. 60 to 30, make it 61 to 30. Chove getting ready to kick it once again. As they kick it, and it's going to be pinned at the 20-yard line. First down and 10 for the Gators. They need to score almost as fast as Penn State if they want them to get anything going here. First down, 10 for the Gators in the power run formation. He Barbas hikes the ball. He's going to hit virtual ball and play. Hit once, hit twice. He has some open space. Penn State not doing a great job on boosting. Jerry Quise messes up the boost. And virtual bot, like I said, scores right off the bat. By the way, scoreboard's fucked. But anyways, what well, a great score there by the Gators. As they now go for the kick to quickly put it back in. And make Penn State go back. The kick is up, and it's good on play. The score is 59-36, to 36 with Penn State pretty far in the lead. Actually, it's 59-37. They're going to kick it. Hikes it, and it's up and good on the play. So now we got Zolo getting ready to kick it. 60 to 37. Florida's going to need a big stop here if they want to get anything going on. Zolo getting ready to kick it. He's going to kick it. And he's going to hit Chove on the play. Chove's going for the return. He's hit once. 
He's hit twice, and he's hit three times about an extra four yards on the play. Not a bad move there for Chove. First down and 10 for the Nate Lions at the 22-yard line. Chove hikes the ball. He's looking. He has no one open. He might find Mike. No, he's going to take it himself. Hit once, hit twice, and hit three times, but not before he picks up the first down. First down and 10 for the Nate Lions. Exactly a 10-yard pickup on the play. So now Chove on our center. He's getting ready for something to happen here. Chove, he's looking around him. Can't really seem to be able to find anything. Already three minutes ticked off the clock in this quarter. Pretty big so far. Ten seconds on the clock for... Uh, Shot clock, whatever you want to call it. Chove hikes the ball. He's looking. He can't find anything. He's going to scramble again, hit once, hit twice, hit three times, and he'll get a gain of nothing, if not a loss of one yard on the play. Minute 56 remaining, as it'll be a loss of one on the play. Chove is running for some reason. He's being a little stupid. Uh, he's down. 10 seconds left on the play clock, question mark. Uh, Chove hikes the ball. He's looking. He has Mike on a drag. He's going to hit Mike. Hit once, hit twice, hit three times. Gain of five on the play. So set third down and five for the Nitty Lions. Chove is driving pretty well, wasting a lot of clock here as we're getting ready to Already hit four minutes pass in the third quarter. Chove under center, 10 seconds left on the play clock. He hit, he's hiking the ball. He has Jay Quise on a drag. He's going to try and lob it up, I would assume here. He lobs it up, but it's going to go over everyone's head. So now 50 seconds remaining on the play clock here. Fourth down and five for the knee lines. You can probably just kick it here and still be up. By a good amount. And they're going for it. Fourth down and five. Good to go given for the knee lines. They're going to try and make something good happen here. Chove getting ready to hike the ball. Chove under center. Hikes the ball. He's looking. Here's Jerry Queese on track. And Jerry Queese will get the first down with a little extra. As I think he gets pushed out. Give him exactly five on the play, I would have to assume. Or they're going to give him a little extra. They're going to give him a gain of 10 on the play. So first down and 10 for the Nate Lions at their own 45-yard line. The clock is fast taking here with their third quarter almost at the end. Chove hikes the ball. He's looking. He can't find anyone. He's going to roll to the right. He's hit once. He's hit twice. And he's got some open space. I think Chove can go the distance. I think Chove is going the distance. And he's going to score another touchdown for Penn State. And they're just bringing this game out of reach for the Gators here. Those huge picks on Butterboss brought by Chove. It's just bringing the game to an end. Touchdown, Nitty Lions. As Chove getting ready to kick out the ball. And the play is under review. So the touchdown animation can't stop for a second. As we wait for the review. Anyways, as we wait. Reminder. Super Bowl is this sun Sunday. Sun Saturday, Sunday. This weekend. 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. It is actually... Wait, wait, wait a second, wait a second. It will be 2-21, so Sunday at 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, um, uh, right here. So drop a sub, question mark, if you want to watch it. But anyways, what a great here, 
what a great game we've got so far in the national championship. It's kind of a blowout, but you're seeing good strikes by each team here. No one's really been to the point where it's been like to the point where you can't really score and be in the game, but it's coming close to the point where if the Gears don't make a stop, it might just be over here. It's about that time, sadly. Someone's got to win it. Penn State's in the lead pretty dominantly. We'll have to see how the Gators handle it. But anyways, as we're waiting, we're going to have to make sure that the play is actually a touchdown. As I think that's the actual review for some sort of block in the back there. So we're just waiting right now for whatever to happen. As we wait, still no call on the field on whether it's a touchdown or not. Ruling on the field is a touchdown. So as we so as we wait, still no call on the field. Uh, so Penn State. They're calling a touchdown. No block in the back is the ruling on the field. Good to kick given. It's off and it's through the uprights. The one point field goal is good. As I can't speak English anymore and I sound like an Australian. We got over here Chove getting ready to kick it. He's just running around. As we wait for him to kick it, waiting for the good to kick himself. No good to kick given. Good to kick given. Chove's getting ready to kick it. And he's going to pin it at the three-yard line. Great kick there by Chove. Confusing the whole Florida return team. As now it's a first and ten at the three-yard line. For the Gators. You saw the review thing in the bottom right. Um, Emerald. So first down and 10 for the Gators. Carter Boss on your center. He's hiking the ball. He's looking. There's three seconds left in the third quarter. Bot hit once, hit twice, hit three times down around the 30-yard line. Mark out of the 29. As that's the end of the third quarter. As we're heading into the fourth. Penn State. Predominant lead here. Up. By 30 points. Yes, you heard that right. Penn State has taken a 30-point lead here in the national championship against the undefeated Gators. For five minutes left in the game, can the Gators make a miracle comeback? Bird Boss, under center, hit once. That's going to be early. He's going to take himself, though. Hit once, hit twice, hit three times. We're going to have to see what happens. Flag on the play. Early cross. Or, yeah, early crossing. Uh, Penn State, live love, redo first down. First down, good to go. Five yard pickup for the Gators. But our boss getting ready to hike it in that stack, not stack run formation. I'll call it the power run formation. As you got the guy behind the quarterback who can run, get some extra power to be sprint jump hit by the bow. That gives you that extra boost, extra power on your run. They hike the ball. Butterboss looking. He's being blitzed here. He There's two on him. And can't tell if he was sacked or not. Ball's up in the air and it's gone. Second down calling the stack use there. Zola is saying that he got hit out of bounds. But no call on the field. No stack used. Second down and five. Butterboss hikes it. He hits Virtual Bot. Virtual Bot has some distance. Can he take it though? He'll be down around 30. Mark at the 33 yard line on the new line side. They're going to need to hurry things up here. Four minutes and 25 seconds remaining in the fourth. Zolo on our center. 
He's looking, he can't find anything. He's gonna try and find the open man, but he can't hit Zola on the play. Incompletion. Boss under center, he's getting ready to run it. He hikes the ball, he's looking. He can't find bot, he can't find Zola either as he overthrows it on his head. So now Barbas hikes it again. He needs to work on those lobs as it's just way too weak. If there's one thing stopping the top QB prospect who did commit to the draft, interesting move here, but I think it was the right. What was it? Pretty much. Barbas, he needs to work on his lobs here as he hikes the ball. He's looking. He's hit once, twice. Can't get hit the third time. Are they, are they going to call it the sack? Interesting here. No markets yet. They're calling a sack, sacked all the way back to the 42-yard line. It's a fourth down forever. They got to go for it. They're going for it here. The game on the line. There's an early on the play, but it's still going on. Oh. Fourth down, good to go. That was an er early hike. Butterbots hikes the ball. He's looking. Game on the line. He hikes it. He's going to try and hit the solo, but it's incomplete. I think that's just about game. And that is game. 67 37. All Penn State has to do is run out the clock here and they'll be able to win it. They're going to stack run it until they can kneel it. He hikes it, hit once, twice, three times, gain of three to four on the play. Waiting for the placement of the carpet. They're going to mark him first down. Two minutes and 30 seconds, halfway through. As this game is coming to a wrap now, Chove, all he has to do is keep the clock running, and they've just about done it here. Gui calls it good to go as they hike it, and that's another huge play by Jay Requise. Getting big yardage, gained 12 on the play for the Nay Lions as they take it to the two minute warning. Two minutes left on the clock here at the national championship. Penn State up 67 to 37. We are just about over here. As my phone starts playing music, thank you, phone. First down and 10 for the Nay Lions. Both of his receivers out to the left. Chove is going to take it himself as he's just going to waste time. No one's marking him down yet. He's down at the mark yet, the 19-yard line. Clock is just gone for the scoreboard. Zolo is ejected from the game. The Weissman winner ejected from the game is gone now. First down and 10 for the New Lions. Chove under center. He's getting ready to hike the ball here. Can't really find anything. He doesn't need to find anything, though, as he hikes it. He has some mic open. Not going to force it, though. He might as well just take the sack as he tries to hit Pajamaram. And it's just incomplete. Fly on the field for a legal sub. And Florida is going to most likely accept it. We're waiting for the call here.
Colin Flay is he did and they accepted it. So that was an illegal substitution. First down and ten. Minute forty left on the clock show. He's gonna try and lob it up here. I would have to assume. He shoots it and it's missed by both Pajama Rama and Miami Dolphins one. Incompletion on the play. And now the clock stops and the time's just ticking. Or time's just ticking that it should be ticking on the clock, but due to it being under two minutes, the clock does not tick. They hike the ball. They're looking for something here. Chove is looking. He hits Miami Dolphins one. And that's another touchdown for Penn State here. As the game is all but wrapped up here. I think that we can most likely say that the Lions have very much secured the game. As Chove gets ready for the kick. They're going for two here. No, nope, they're actually going to kick it. Penn State now. I'm the blocker. Touchdown animation still going on just to show you how excited we are for more time wasted. <laughs> and now Chove getting ready to kick it straight through the uprights. And yeah, officially sealed the game. He's going to hike it. He's going to try and hit Pajama Rama, but he just can't connect on the play. So now, very, very little time left on the clock. Good to kick given as we wait. It's now Gator's ball. With a kick hitting Savage Dude, or a Campbell Grinch actually. He's hit once, he's hit twice, and he's hit three times. They'll down him around the 22 yard line. A very short time. I can't imagine it's more than a minute 20 left on the clock here. As Campbell Grinch. Getting ready. First down 10, good to go. Uh, there's four in the field. Sky and Tyrone on the field. Tyrone hikes the ball and they're just going to kneel it. And it looks like that this is about to be game here. At the national championship, your natty champions, you have the Penn State Nitty Lions taking down the Florida Gators. All here inside of Allegiant Stadium on the VFL server. This is just about to wrap up the game. I'd like to thank everyone for tuning into the broadcast here. Hopefully you enjoyed. Sorry that's only one commentary night, but it's just how it is. So anyways, 30 seconds left on the clock. Penn State calls a timeout, but it's just about over here with the Penn State victory. So now as we wait for the final moments to tick off the clock, we have Penn State on the sideline getting ready to be crowned national champions. Now Penn State, they're just ready in anticipation to see them getting their first national championship, winning the first natty. Tyrone hikes the ball, but he can't find anything. Fans are getting a little rowdy on the sidelines, it looks like. But it looks like this is about about game. Redo third down. He hikes it. Tyrone hits. Sky is falling. And they're going to take it out of bounds around the 36-yard line. First down and 10 for the Gators. They're backing up the game. 
it looks like, or the game is declared over. The Nitty Lions will win the national championship here. They upset the undefeated Florida Gators in the biggest stage of the season. We have your new national champions in the VCAA, the Penn State Nitty Lions taking it all. Led under Coach Alex, the very best, QB, Chove, wide receivers, Jay Reek, Jay Requees and Mike the very best. Mike the very best being the top scorer of the game with at least three, possibly four touchdowns. As we see the Nitty Lions take home the Natty. That's all she wrote for this one here in Allegiant Stadium on the VFL server. However, the celebration is not over quite yet. As we still have the stage to build and the crowning of the Nitty Lions as your national champions. But until then, as we wait for the stage, what well, I'd have to seem to be built, I'm assuming there is a stage. I could be wrong. There's no stage currently. Very interesting. Oh, everyone got teleported off the field as everyone it seems like will be brought up to the trophy tower. As the door opens through the trophy all the way down to the lower level. Very interesting design here. As we wait, I think it's about safe to say that this is the national championship here, all but complete. So, if given the go ahead to wrap it up, I think it's just about time to wrap it up here. So, I think that we can thank everyone for tuning in to the national championship broadcast here on the VFL Network. We got to see a great shootout here between Penn State and the Florida Gators, where we saw in the very end, Penn State able to squeak out it's a little more than a squeak, but we got to see them take a pretty big lead to win the game. So I would like to thank everyone for tuning in to Season 1 of the VCAA. If you're interested in joining, there's a link to join the Discord down below as VCAA Season 2 is now open up to sign up for. But until then, thank you for tuning into the VFL Network's coverage of the National Championship. And we'll see everyone for the next national champ or, or for the Super Bowl right here in three days' time. Thank you, everyone, for tuning in.